All right, should you get a 1,000cc sport bike or 1,000cc motorcycle as your first bike? Um, short answer, no. No, you should not. Now, this is from a guy coming from a Ninja 400, a 400cc sport bike. Upright position, really, really nice bike. I recommend any beginner out there, either the Ninja 400 or the R3 or any of those 300cc, 400cc bikes. They're all good. They're all nice. If you want to get a sport bike, any of them are nice. Now, when it comes to 600s, 700s, 800s, you can get away with that, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, there's the ZX4 RR, the Inline 4. That would be an insane first bike. More power than an R3 and more power than a Ninja 400. It's a screamer, okay? And if you want to watch someone that has a ZX4 RR that I know of, Tarek, he's a great YouTuber and he has a ZX4 RR and he, he has a shite ton of videos about that thing if you want to go and watch him because he, he knows more about it than I ever would. But that's also another great beginner bike. But like I said, when it comes to 600s, 700s, and 800s, you just have to have some self-discipline and do a lot of low speed practicing first. Where am I right now? I'm at the MSF course where I started motorcycling. If you get a 600cc or any of the ones I stated, go to a parking lot. And this goes for 300s and 400s as well. Practice low speed stuff before anything. Friction zone. Practice handling your clutch. Braking really quick. All of those things are going to help you tremendously. And it's better that you do that in a parking lot with hardly any cars. I know there's a couple cars in here. And you'll be good. You'll be, you'll be good to go. And like I said, that goes for uh, super sports. I think you can classify a 636 as a super sport. They're more aggressive than what I had, a 400cc sport bike with the upright position. Way more aggressive. And I would know because I, I went to a demo day and I tried a 636. And yeah, it's way more aggressive. Way more than you think. The videos people do do not really do it justice. And me sitting on this bike won't even do it justice. And this is one of the most aggressive super sports out there if you want to get one of those bikes uh, a more aggressive uh, sport bike go to a dealership and sit on it and then find out if you actually want to get it or not can you see yourself sitting in that position for a long period of time i did not like the seating position on this bike at all to begin with but i pushed myself and after around three to four days your back starts to get used to it if you get any of those aggressive seated bikes like this or a 600 just get some tank grips you're lean forward down so I, I can show you guys really quick instead of sitting all the way up here like you would on a normal sport bike you're all the way down here and you're hunched forward so you're constantly at this angle where you're gonna go all the way down and get squished so with tank grips that goes for anyone boom right there prevents you from going down like that and you can worry more about gripping that. And you need grippy pants if you don't want to have any grips on the side of your tank. I don't have leather pants, so I just go doo, 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 all over the place. Also, the power on this bike, why you shouldn't start with a thousand cc. The power on this bike is unlike anything I have ever been on. It is nuts. This thing has, I think, 198 or 200 horsepower, whatever. That is flat out just not what a beginner should start on. You can do it. It's going to be a son of a bitch, but if you push through it, you get a thousand cc, man. Good for you, dude. But I just do not recommend any of the average people that want to start getting on a bike to get a thousand cc just because of the power and all the variables, you know, on the road that you got to put up with when you're a new motorcyclist, you know. People that have smaller bikes tend to take in stuff a little bit easy because you get used to everything at a slower speed. I transferred my knowledge over to a quicker bike and yeah, I'm still learning slow speed right now But I can tell you right now if I started on this thing instead of a 400 holy crap I would be I would not be doing too good right now. I'd tell you that much <laughs> It's just it's too much for a beginner that I would know of my friend started on a Jixer 800 And you know, those are great bikes. Those are lower horsepower machines And I mean you got like 82 ish horsepower those are fine But when it comes to this no, it's not worth it also the budget just because it's so much money this bike right here, this thing was around 20 grand. My Ninja 400 MSRP was $5,599. If you're a beginner and you have the budget and you can afford something like this, does that mean you should do it? No. I think you should save your money, get a smaller bike to start out with so you can learn slow speed and come over to a place like this, like an MSF course, or like I said, a parking lot. Take a couple hours out of your day and do it maybe a couple times a week. You'll be good and just keep up with it, keep in check, and you'll be, you'll be set. The second you let the clutch out on this bike, you're already going 10, 15 miles per hour. Whereas on the Ninja 400, you're going five miles per hour, 
or any of those spikes. Not really nice to learn low speed on a big machine like this because also you have a really heavy clutch. Now that I'm used to it, you know, I can just go boop, boop, boop. But like I said, I'm not gonna judge you for whatever bike you get. You can get, th dude, this is America. I could have gone out and bought this bike day one and started on this bike, but I didn't. And I'm actually really happy that I didn't because I, I learned a lot from the 5,000 miles I rode on my slower Ninja 400. I keep going back to the thing where it's like, it's just not worth it, don't do it. If you don't like the super aggressive sport bikes, then get a small bike with a nice upright position where you can learn everything nice and calmly and smoothly and yes. Once you get experience and you put a couple thousand miles on that bike, then you can talk about upgrading. If you get bored or you're just in do check for a new bike and you have the budget and you just want to go pew. I cannot imagine a beginner on this bike. This, like they would, they would probably unalive themselves on this bike in my opinion. There is just no realm where I will ever think that it's good for a beginner to start on this bike. Who's never touched a motorcycle or been on a motorcycle before previously? People do it. That's all right. Also, this is just a small reason, but because most thousand cc's come with a quick shifter, that's also a pretty bad habit because this had it on, like turned on. You might start using that more than actually learning how to use your clutch manually and learning the friction zone. You learn bad habits on the on the quick bikes, man. I swear to God. I've already picked up on a few bad habits myself, which I will correct. But yeah, that's just that's just what happens. You have a fast bike, you're gonna want to go quick. I maxed out my Ninja 400 in every gear. That's just how it is, man. I'm gonna wrap up the rest of the video while riding home guys i'm sure i'm missing a couple more things some general reasons why you shouldn't get a thousand cc to begin with do what i did put a couple thousand miles five thousand miles on a slow bike smaller cc engine and then upgrade to this and then you'll most likely would be better off okay but i'll say this for the third or fourth time you can do whatever you want start on what you want motorcycles are sweet Like, sure, I've had my thoughts where I was like, I want to get a quick bike for my first bike. Because people tend to think you're going to outgrow like a small CC bike really quick, which is just not the case. You can mod the hell out of a small bike and still have so much fun. Tune your bike. You can max it out. Go in the twisties. There's all these things that you can do with a bike that can make it fun and not boring. People who get tired of 400s and 300s quick, man, come on. There's there's so much fun. There are definitely a couple different things on my old bike that I enjoy more than this bike just the fact that you can max it out and not be breaking the law too much <laughs> and that it's so flickable and light and the seating position is a lot nicer god man that quick shifter on this thing is insane Woo! this reason right here with the twist of the wrist, you can just go from 45 to 60 in a fraction of a second, a blink of an eye. You might think that's just awesome. Let's do it right now. You'd be better off getting a small bike, man. Trust me. I've been there, done that. Trust me, man. I wanted to upgrade at so many different points on my bike, like the first thousand miles, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, close to 5,000 miles, but I didn't, I held back, and I used the heck out of my bike, and I timed it perfectly, really. And you guys can do the same thing too. Comment down below what you guys think. Should you start on a thousand CC? Comment down below, just anything you guys wanna ask me, any anything related to this, or just related to any other video, I'll be happy to answer. I'm always in the comments, so. Anyways, guys, remember to keep on riding, be safe, and enjoy your life. I'll be out here again tomorrow. Right safe out there whatever bike you start with if you're a beginner watching this make the right decision within your budget within your own cahoots your own pantaloons i'm out guys i'll see you all later